Hey there, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Thank you for being here today. So let's see what is going on with your person overall. We'll get some overall cards. What's um, their energy towards you right now? I'm refining this video. All right, we have the Three of Fire, Three of Wands. See this card's expansion, optimism, new horizons. Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands. To be a new exciting connection for some of you and then we have the eight of earth eight of pentacles musical connection even maybe with this being at the center of the reading and here's the sun leo coming through wow these are some nice cards so far and then we have patience interesting because the three of wands can be a card of patience as well this is temperance um, more fire sagittarius oh my gosh okay and here's the queen of water queen of cups that's cancer so, um, it looks like this person's very excited about what has been sparked with you here. And, um, they especially, there is an element of independence and in you guys both being focused on career and work right now. And so there, I feel like there could be a lot of admiration around that for each other. So you make this person very happy. Um, I feel like you've brought a lot of sunshine into their life. Um, especially if you are a Leo and, <laughs> um, so this person, yeah, I feel like they are in no rush to move things along. They just are like really enjoying things. They want to slowly build things with you. Uh, they do want to get closer with you. To me, temperance is coming closer and closer together over time, merging your lives more and more and more. These are very beautiful cards here, you guys. So um, this is a pile, or this reading is going to be one, I feel, of a lot of optimism here. And I feel like they really want the best for you. They are having a lot of fun with you and they see lots of potential for maybe wealth building together, even, you know, for having like a practical purpose for being with you. Okay, here's separation, time apart from each other. So you guys could be separated by distance or maybe you're separated for a while and this person is looking forward to getting back together with you. Or they could just be even seeing the separation as kind of a good thing right now for you guys to build up your lives on your own so you can have something really great to offer one another. Um, but yeah, I feel like they are just like, let's take our time with this. Let's see if we can grow something here. Let's see if it, um, you know, let's, let's just explore the potential rather than, you know, making some big commitment right now. I run because I fear my feelings. So they could be a little afraid of going too much into their feelings. We don't have like water here just yet. This could be someone who is very capable, very deep feelings. So they're very careful with who, um, af like after all this time, they've grown up and they've realized they have to be very careful with who they give their feelings to. Um, and here's it's over. Okay. So they could be maybe ending something else in their life and you represent a new beginning for them because I don't feel this card refers to the connection between you two because this is all very, um, positive unless some of you guys had a very, you know, clean and nice break with someone here separated with them. So that could be for a few of you, but I feel for more of you, this is them like something just ended for them. And, this is a totally new beginning. Like you're giving them faith, hope, and life again. Bringing a lot of light and excitement and fun into their life. Maybe after a very dry, boring spell. And here's, I sometimes wonder if you care. So this is the death card. So yeah, I, there is some ending that they've been going through that's been very tough. Maybe it was someone that they just like felt used by. And here's no, wow. It's like strong stuff coming through all of a sudden. This could even put some boundaries, this person, this could even be some boundaries this person is putting up right now, where they're like, I, I can't give my heart away just yet. I feel like this is someone who has to be absolutely certain, and they have to know just like how much you do care as well. And here's, I'm a very jealous person. So yeah, they do also stop themselves, hold themselves back because they do know that sometimes um, they get too intense, like that's Scorpio, that's a card of intensity. So they... Um, Sometimes they get too intense in a relationship, so they really try to temper themselves a lot. So this is like stuff that can simmer beneath the surface, and they really just try to remain like kind of more neutral about things. This, yeah, nah card here. All right, let's see what else we got. 
Oops, okay. We have Rising Above. This is like a Scorpio card. This is like Phoenix Rising. I see only beauty and grace. So I feel like right now, they, this is what they see in this connection. They see only beautiful and graceful things. They see that this is something that is helping them to rise out of these ashes that have been that maybe the burning down process was very, very painful. So they're, they're ready to be fired up about life again because of you. And I feel like you're helping them move on from something. You're helping them a lot with that. And you're also helping them enjoy life a lot more. Again, with savoring pleasure. I fully embrace bliss in my life. So they, they have maybe um, denied themselves pleasure for a long time. And this is something very key that you have brought into their life. Hold on, you guys. I need to pause the video for a second. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that. So let's see what else is going on with this person. Very interesting person so far. All right. Oh, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So they do feel attracted to you. They do feel something with you for sure. I feel it's something they want to kind of like grow it over time, like slowly, steadily. They don't want it to be like all just flash fire. And because they've I feel like they've experienced a lot of connections that just were like explosions at the beginning. And then they like burned out so fast. So, uh, and I feel like they also want to keep the focus on keeping things playful, fun, light between you two, because they really just don't want there to be, they, they don't want any hurt and heartbreak for either of you. They don't want to have to go through like yet one more separation with someone. Oops. Two cards. All right. We have, um, Guinevere. This is number 20 beauty feminine power, love, and sexuality. So um, it's interesting. King Arthur came out, which was number 19 in pile one. And then we have the sacred grove, number eight, longevity, protection, nature, renewal. I feel like this person wants to spend a lot of time in nature with you. Um, this person also, I feel like they've done a lot of work on themselves. They want to be worthy of you. Um, I feel like they really... Um, I'm just, I'm getting like they want to wait and like take things slowly with you. Um, and just, I feel like they want to experience just, I feel before they like dive too much into a physical relationship with you, they want to experience um, so much of life with you. I, I feel like they really want to take it easy, take it slowly with the physical relationship. I feel like that's, that's like maybe the least important thing to them right now. All right. So let's see here. Even though there, there is, they, they do feel something with you very much with the Ace of Wands and Chemistry, the Sun even. Okay, so, but they feel very safe, very at home with you. Like you guys have like this sacred space between one another. Like you guys would really protect each other, take care of each other. There's a lot of like wisdom between you two. They feel like you guys, this connection is going to last for a very long time. Okay, what are their overall thoughts about you, Pile 4? All right, so we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. That's Leo coming through again. We have the Magician in reverse. Okay, I think I have the deck upside down. And then we have the Ace of Cups. So maybe this person feels like disempowered right now about being able to fall in love and to be able to share love with you at the moment. So I feel like they could be kind of shy or hiding that. Um, I feel like they they are trying to kind of, I feel, keep things calm between you two. Kind of like play things down right now. Um, I feel like they know they have a lot of like magnetism or something. And they don't want to overwhelm you with it. Like they don't want to intimidate you. Yeah, I'm getting like they, they don't want to intimidate you with their powers. <laughs> okay. Um, here's the 10 of cups. Wow. Like I feel like this person just really cares for you. This is a lot of happiness here. So they, they really care to see you super happy. And so I feel like they're just trying to focus on the joy and the happiness between you two right now, rather than any kind of, um, intense, like sexual thing. Wow. Here's the Knight of wands coming through to confirm that as well. Interesting. I feel like they're trying to prioritize like love. Like they're looking for a higher type of love. They're trying to prioritize love over physical desire and passion. 
This is something new that they're focusing on. And here's I found peace again, relax, because they want this to be a very, very peaceful connection between you two. They feel at peace with you. They feel relaxed. They feel at home. They feel comfortable with you. So they're like, I don't want to do anything to disrupt that balance. And I feel like especially like they're a very strong person and they're really just not wanting to intimidate you. They're trying to really keep you comfortable. And here's unfaithful. I've been hurt too many times. Yeah, I was really getting that, that this person is still trying to leave something in the past. And so they're like, I just need to keep things balanced between us. I, I'm, they're doing everything they can to keep things very balanced, calm, and at ease between you two. Also, this person stays really busy working, apparently. Makes sense with the Eight of Pentacles being at the um, center of this reading. You guys are both very hard workers who really, um, you have developed your skills over time and you really give your all to everything. So I feel like this is like the thing that really brings you two together. So especially if you have like, um, like Venus in Virgo, like both of you have like Virgo placements. That's like a glue that's bringing you two together. Okay. Um, what are they feeling about you overall pile four? Here's the seven of swords. Here is death. So death is coming through again. There's so much Scorpio coming through here. So they could be like not wanting to talk too much about um, certain endings they've gone through, certain deep, difficult things they've gone through. And here's the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person still feels kind of chaotic or like drained by some situation. It's very strange. Um, I feel like this connection with you is really making them question a lot. And they're doing a lot of thinking about things here. They're very concerned about what action to take. They're, I feel like they're they're really afraid of making the wrong move in this connection. So, um, yeah, I just feel like they, they're trying to, like, not open up all about their past and all the demons and the shadows they faced. I feel like they're, they're just trying to keep things clean between you two right now. So I'm getting a lot of confusion about their feelings. They're they're scared to go here is what I'm getting. We did get the um, I run because I fear my feelings card here. And I don't know which path to take choices. Yeah, I was getting a lot of confusion. Um, so they could have a lot of disruption in their life right now. So this is someone who doesn't really like change, but they feel like being they're being called to make some kind of change and they haven't been talking too much about this with you so here's codependent my hands are tied so they could be in a situation that they feel very much bound to still and their intentions towards you pile four okay we got two we have the eight of wands and the ten of wands so I'm feeling like they want to keep moving things forward with you uh, with this eight of wands here. But I also feel like there's going to be some kind of restraint because they don't want things to get too passionate and intense between you two because they don't want things to burn out between you two. Because again, they've been too, through too many things that have just burnt out very quickly. And it was very frustrating. It was very like depressing. It was a lot of a letdown for them. So they're like, we're not going to do the same thing in this connection. We're going to keep things balanced. I really, I really want someone who will stick around with me and really be there with me. And here's the Two of Swords. More conflict coming through. Or some kind of choice. Um, and here is the Hierophant. I feel like they're... Right now they, they feel pulled between what they've always known. And maybe being committed to some kind of... Um, like rules they have for themselves. Or boundaries or standards they set to them, for themselves. Or moving on towards something new. So, gosh, yeah, I feel like there is some kind of choice they have to make. I feel like, yeah, this card just came up choices. And I feel like they are not ready to make this choice. But with the Eight of Wands here, they want to keep moving things forward with you because they want to keep moving things forward with you because they are really having such a great time in this connection. And you are really helping them move forward into their future with a lighter heart. Like life isn't so heavy for them now with you in it. And this came out again, codependent, my hands are tied. So yeah, they, there, there's some reason, something that stops them from being able to fully move forward with you at this moment. It doesn't mean it will always be like that. There's isolation. Nobody cares. This person also just 
tends to keep need a lot of alone time as well. Interesting. I sometimes wonder if you care. Nobody cares. So, hmm. I think I feel like this is what they like about you is they feel like you actually care about them. This is why, like, they they feel so alone in the world, and this is why they want to keep connecting with you as well. One of the, one of the reasons is because you really light them up. You bring them like courage and you bring them something that no one else has been bringing them for a long time. And here, working, I'm just really busy working. So um, yeah, I feel like this person wants to spend some more time with you, but they really do put a lot of their focus into their work. And when the Eight of Pentacles comes up, oftentimes I, that makes me think that yes, if they, um, you know, aren't like always there, like 100% of the time, it's because they do put so much into their work. They're not busy, like going to find other people or anything like that. It's, um, they, ha they're just very career, um, maybe money driven. Okay. Let's see here. Um, what are the main blocks and fears in this connection with you pile four? Here's the five of pentacles. They could be afraid of losing something, maybe leaving something behind, maybe fear of rejection, fear of things not working out. Some kind of fear of loss is here. And here is the moon. So there's a lot of unknowns here for them. And yeah, so they don't, I feel like they, they're like, I don't know what the future holds for us, but I like what we have together. And again, something from their past is still haunting them. They still have some shadows they need to release. All right. What do they most want you to know, Pile 4? The Ace of Wands. So, again, there is, even if they do withdraw and they isolate themselves some or that maybe they come across kind of cold, you know, maybe sometimes they give you the impression that they don't care as much. There is an attraction there. There is a spark. There's chemistry there for sure but they feel like the right thing to do right now is just to kind of temper things and balance things and just kind of see how things go. And here's the star. So they do look up to you. They do admire you very much. You've given them hope for the future. You've helped, you're helping them to heal all these shadows and um, just all the, the pain that they've been through. You've brought a lot of healing to them. And oh, this is beautiful temperance. That's another card of healing. So this showed up twice here. These are two of my favorite cards. So, um, yeah, they're like, you're a natural healer and you know, they, they just really, really, really love your presence in their life. You're doing so much for them. I feel like they, they really feel they, they, they either are or could fall in love with you. Um, yeah, they, they just want, they want this to be real though. So they, they feel like their realest loves are built over time are just they, that they're slowly they kind of merged into rather than, you know, something that just sparks and then that's it. Okay, because I feel like they're kind of done with that, like, immediate, like, pledge to each other for life, like, within the first couple weeks or couple months. Um, you know, they might have been like that before and now they're like, no, I need to just build something slowly over time. I don't care how long it takes. You know, let's just keep seeing how it goes. Oh my gosh. And then the sun just came off the top of the deck. So we have the sun and temperance together twice. That's amazing. So again, this person just wants you to know that you make them extremely happy. They see hope for the future because of you. So these are some of the most positive cards in the deck. Ace of Wands as well, really. So, whoa. So they have um, nothing but positive feelings for, about you right now. And they like seeing where this will go. I don't have a whole lot else to say there, you guys. Um... Let's see, advice card for you, pile four. Here's patience. Okay, temperance is all about patience. Um, pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play and play whilst you wait. Okay, yeah, so just have fun. You know, just because things aren't going super fast doesn't mean you can't enjoy the moment. Just enjoy every moment. And as long as things are making progress or you guys are both happy, you know, it doesn't really matter um, what the labels are. Just as long as you guys are, you know, having a positive effect on a positive effect on one another and not draining each other in any way. 
All right, so let's see. What might they say to you, pile four? I miss you. So we do have separation here. And I want forever with you. Yeah, temperance can be a card of something lasting a very long time. And please forgive me. And temperance can also be a card of forgiveness, the star healing. I need more time. Time, patience, a huge thing. So this is something that needs to just be worked on over time, that things just need to kind of process over time. Oh, two more. I wasn't ready. Or I'm not ready. And you're always on my mind. And here's you make me happy. I think that's accurate with the sun coming out twice. Here's I lied to you and I am sorry. Did have the seven of swords come up? So for those of you who this person didn't outright lie, I don't feel like all of them outright lied to you. This could be more, um, you know, they haven't been able to just tell you everything just yet. And I've searched for you and others. Nobody compares. And never wanted to hurt you. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm getting, for those of you who are, there wasn't any, like, lying or um, anything, like, any hurt that came between you two, I feel like this is this person um, really wanting to avoid any of these situations like this in the future. They're, like, really trying to be careful about this. And here's, I will open up more, I promise. Or I will open up more and more, I promise. Yeah, they want to give this time. I feel like that's a lesson they learned as well is, like, um, maybe they overshared too much before in the beginning and they're like, I'm not going to do that again because they got burned by that so many times where maybe they shared so much and then the person just, you know, the person was there and then they just kind of like faded out of their life and then they regretted sharing so much. So this is why they stay kind of closed up. Yeah. For those of you who feel like this person hasn't really lied to you or anything, I feel like that's, that's what this card is talking about. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not, maybe not more open with you. And here's your energy seduces me. As well as I miss you. I miss you coming up twice. So there is like this um, magnetic attraction that's drawing you two back together. It's like some unexplainable force. Like you guys are in each other's orbits. And thank you for still loving me. Yeah, they were afraid that you were maybe going to reject them for something. And I need courage to reach out or I need courage to tell you more. I need courage to take the next steps. And you're perfect. I think about you nonstop. This card as well. I love you more than words could say. This person might just not be too good with words all the time. I'm coming back to you when I'm ready to give you the love you deserve. And I want you back because I know that we are meant to be together. And everything always happens for a reason. That's how I know that the separation was all planned to bring us closer together in the end. Interesting that separation comes up twice. So yeah, I feel like they do see like a good purpose in it to maybe give you guys time to work on yourselves, work on your own life. You're my dream come true. I'm shocked at your existence. So they are quite surprised by meeting you. I have no words for your kindness and generosity. And how can I ever pay you back? So this person feels like you really give a lot and they really love that about you. So that's pretty cool. All right. So I hope this reading helped you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If